This is the macro show. This is pregame, okay? We're trying to play the game that's in front of us today. You know, leadership matters at Hedge Eye. So again, being transparent, accountable, and trustworthy people. This is a game about playing and weighing probabilities. It's not about picking stocks. It's about picking the right portfolio. Okay, uh, morning coach. My question is about long duration bonds, which you have hit on to some extent. Uh, number one, is the debt ceiling shit show impacting this asset class? Number two, once the debt ceiling is resolved and the treasury starts refilling the TGA account by issuing bonds, will the TLT be impacted? Thanks for everything you do. So it is. Is, is that a component? It is, but it isn't. Like one day it is, one day it isn't. So I wouldn't really get caught up in it. Just, just use the range. That's it. I mean, because one day you'd say, okay, look, the debt ceiling, like on Thursday of last week, when we, it was Wednesday or Thursday of last week, I made a shitload of money. I uh, got to my all-time highs. It was actually three or four days in a row last week. My long-only accounts were making all-time highs as the U.S. equity market was down. So that means that bonds were up, okay? Bonds and gold were up those days. So those days, which, you know, again, that's when they announced, Janet announced that it's closer to June 1st than July 1st or August. You say, oh, the, bond, the debt ceiling is positive for bonds. Yesterday, because bonds don't work for you, it's negative for bonds. So what does it mean for bonds? I mean, just stay within the range. Then you don't have to get the answer. You know, the answer that everybody wants is specifically when, where, how, why, when I don't care about most of that, I care mostly about when. If the 10-year yield is at the top end of the range, I'm going to buy bonds. That's what I'm going to do. If gold's down, I'm going to buy gold. That's what I'm going to do. So I think that the answer is much more simpler um, than, again, the question can be, you know, have a different answer on different days, right? We're only talking about uh, three or four trading days of a difference where bonds were up and bonds were down. So uh, that's what I think about that. Hey there, Hedge Eye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedge Eye Nation, thanks for watching Hedge Eye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.